I'm Steve, and this is CC Garage. Hey YouTube, and welcome back. Well, last episode, we did our wheels, and they really pop. And I've always said I want to paint this truck shiny, but I've also always been in love with the way this fender looks. Not saying I can recreate that, but I think we are going to do a spray can patina job on the truck. So we are going to use the seaside blue. I figured I would get a darker blue. And then, like, the truck's already going to be this gray primer. But we'll do black where I know I'm going to sand down. We'll do that blue I just bought. And then we'll do this as a final coat match the rims so I don't know if I'm gonna record doing the whole entire truck or if I'm just gonna do hey this is what I'm doing this is how it looks step by step I'll come back when it's done so we will see when we get there but kind of excited the way it's gonna turn out so stay tuned Get down gloss black first doesn't really matter if it's gloss but this right here is gonna be a higher area that the sun would normally beat on and get weathered so we're doing a base coat of black and I was too lazy to go grab my GoPro so I'm recording on my phone right now don't really care about masking anything up obviously so I'm just gonna keep on continue to do this I might do a couple patches or whatever in the middle of the hood I hate how close my phone is because I am way further back than the GoPro would be. But throw down a little bit of paint, let it dry, use some of that, let it dry, and then paint our final color on. So I wasn't sure exactly what to put black on, so I just did like the whole front quarter. We're gonna spray some of this on now. Is our second color like I said we're just doing the front quarter front fender hood and man this color really pops but the other color is actually brighter see on this we don't really care it's definitely not ideal painting weather I didn't do very good prep I don't really care I got runs that's just gonna add more character to the finished product And mint sir we are hiring at mako today would you like a job leaving everything kind of heavy well not kind of heavy but still wet doing coat over coat and came up with something that might work pretty good it's right here it's the same cardboard i was using for when we painted the rims just putting it on the wet paint this is all gonna get covered up with another coat anyways but it brings that other color out underneath kind of tell back here better Get it right here on the fender. But it's a patina paint job. You can pretty much be creative as you want. Whatever you think is looking gonna look good. All right. It'll all come together in the end. The paint fumes are kicking in. <laughs> but kind of a pain in the butt just to bring out this much but it does look really good i think it looks pretty natural like just a pain it. in the butt so hopefully this will dry tomorrow we'll come out we'll do our top coat and i think we're going to do this cardboard trick hopefully that brings out a lot less work by bringing out the under colors so stay tuned we actually switched to gopro so better video quality now so the rest of the video all gonna be gopro so 
I don't know if it's gonna actually be better quality than what my phone actually took, but we got the truck out here in the sunlight. We got this little bit of patina that we brought through. We got the hood. I'm gonna probably make this spot bigger. I need to get rid of sanding marks. And bring out a little bit more black right here. Bring out that a little more. Uh, this we still have to do with top coat. On the last part we did, uh, this is where we put that cardboard on and that actually looks pretty good. So we gotta take the front apart, clean that up so we can spray that. Our three different colors. Should probably take the bumper off because I kind of want to keep most of the original patina on that. Rims really pop. Would have been kind of cool to have patina on those. We still got to do more of the final coat on the door, more on the bedside. Obviously the roll pan. It really hates me to have to do the tailgate because it kind of tells the story. So I don't know if we're going to touch that, but take the taillights out, do this side, clean up all this loose flaking stuff on the cab. We're going to use the cup wheel for that on the angle grinder. Get all that off. The roof is going to go white. Don't want to sand too much of it off because I'm going to bring some of this through the white, which I think will look pretty good. But so we're going to go ahead and I think we're just going to bring the grinder out here and clean up the roof and stuff outside so we're not making too much more of a mess in the shop. Uh, got Aaron coming back over. He'll probably help me get the bumper off, get the front sprayed. And I don't know if we're going to be able to sand today. We could sand on this front corner of the hood because that's nice and cured, but the rest of it's going to be tacky. And we need to get the top coat on there anyway, so we'll be back. We just went over the whole roof and the back. Some 80 grit on a uh, palm sander. I guess it's like a DA sander, but. So now we wipe it down and I think we're just gonna dust it with some black. So not gonna do everything, just I guess places that I actually need paint, like underneath the window, uh, maybe this little bit above it, wherever there's Bondo showing. Got this all cleaned up. Got first coat of paint. Now it's covered in dust, but we'll clean that off later. Uh, first coat of paint where I'm going to be sanding. Around the tail lights. We got the tail lights taken out. Roll pan on the high spot. Looking nice and hard. coat on here roll pan second coat we're gonna come over here and do our top coat after we clean all this off it's all cleaned up all the way across this cleaned up well, uh, well except for that that's got to be passed but we're not worried about that now it's all cleaned up Inserts of the grill are going to be white. 
The rest of the grill, we're gonna do the same color as the outside of the truck. So we're gonna go ahead, wipe it down and spray it. What we'll do, is we'll spray these first. And then after it dries up, we're gonna go ahead and mask this all off. And then we'll go ahead and spray it. that dry and then that will get masked up and then we will be able to paint all of our blue on here our two different colors pull the masking off and sand everything we got the truck out in the sun we got all the blue that's gonna be painted is painted I got the trim around the grill painted tried black tried copper I think I'm gonna go with black that's actually going to stay gloss. I don't plan on sanding that. I'm going to do these in black. Uh, the roof's going to get white. Still got to mask that off. We're going to do the mirrors in black. Actually, everything that's supposed to be chrome or polished is going to go black. So handles and stuff. Uh, we got tail lights in, license plate on, so that way it kind of looks like a complete truck again. I really like the way the tailgate turned out with the gloss on it. I still want to paint the lettering though, so that really pops out. And my current project is the emblem. So I already got the outside masked off, which the outside's going to be black. We got that the same color as the truck. So hopefully that'll look good. It should really pop on the front because the front's going to all get sanded down except for anything I paint black. So see you in a little bit. We already got our primer on there. First coat down. Did some of the sanding. We got most of the hood done. I think I might bring out a little bit more color here later. It doesn't matter. It's not really something that has to be done right now. But we got our black trim. We got our badge center painted. We smoked our turn signals. These still have these still have to be on the rest of the way. But headlight bezels are done. Yeah. So all in all, really digging the paint job. I'm on my phone right now, so it's hard to actually see the whole thing. Uh, the roof is only half finished. It's winter time in Michigan now and too cold to paint. So that will be later on thing, but you guys get the point. Spray your layers, sand, make it look old. So there's another episode on CC Garage. See you guys next time.